Hi, and welcome to day five of our 12 days of Christmas. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about those five golden rings. <laughs> believe that when you sing five golden rings you're referring to jewelry and who doesn't want five golden rings when in all reality the song is actually more than likely referring to another bird so as you've probably noticed over the days so far we've only talked about birds as is a common theme in the 12 days of Christmas so historians believe that the fifth day is no different it's actually referring to the rings around a ring-necked pheasant. Now, the ring-necked pheasant is also called the common pheasant and it's found all over the globe. Now, originally the pheasant is just from Asia, but as it became a very popular game bird, it was introduced all over and it's actually one of the most popular game birds in the entire world. Now, we even have pheasants here in the United States. It's actually the state bird of South Dakota, even though it's not a native bird. They're very pretty birds, and though there's some differences among the new subspecies as it's been spread across the globe, they still all look very similar. Now, the pheasant has a very long black tail that's streaked with brown, and then its body is a ringed, kind of streaked gold or even copper color. Now, its rump is usually solid, sometimes even blue, and then it has a striking bottle green head with a bit of a crest on top. Now, the neck can have a white ring or a golden ring or no ring at all, just depending on the subspecies of the pheasant. Females, however, as usual, are not brightly colored and they're usually just more of a dull brown color, like we've talked about before, so that they're more easily hidden and they can protect their young in the nest. Females produce an egg clutch of about 8 to 15 every year and it's a pale olive green colored egg, as seen here. I hope you enjoyed learning all about those five golden rings today on the pheasant. Also, I've got a little bit of information for you. So, in my infinite math genius, I started the 12 days of Christmas the whole day early. They actually should have started on Tuesday. But let's just be real here and let's say that actually, originally, the 12 days of Christmas started on Christmas and went into the Epiphany. So the 12 days of Christmas actually happen after Christmas. But that's okay. We're going to continue as we are here and then for Christmas Eve I'm going to give you a special all about the very important deer or reindeer that are going to be pulling Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve. So stay tuned for more of the 12 days of Christmas and then come back on December 24th for a special all about Santa's reindeer. As always, stay wild and never stop wondering.